the sun is up. General Holmes and or Lieutenant General Quast and the head of the Civil Rights Division do not listen to the FBI Greenville. They have Henny's potential blood on their hands. They have done nothing. As for getting Henny out of there quickly, lawfully, an easy way would be to get a neutral guardian appointed for her, either in federal court, hopefully in federal court, because the Wayne County Courts has multiple judicial officials who have shown themselves to be corrupt and get a, a federal guardianship for this apparent victim, possible victim, whichever you want to go with, neutral, or you could use me if you want a non-neutral. I clearly know what Henny wants, but the guardian, the neutral guardian should consult with me as to what Henny said so very clearly. She's a courageous woman and she wanted to fight until the death on chemo. So, get a guardian appointed as quickly as possible today <laughs> or bright and early tomorrow morning at 3 a.m., 6 a.m., not 9 a.m. Have it done by then and swoop in with an ambulance and take her to Greenville away from UNC, a corrupt network, medical network evidently, at least this portion of it is, and UN, UNC is not in Greenville, Vident is, ECU, Eastern Carolina University, a competitor, hopefully will not be an elder cleanser type place. Get it done, get me to her when she's conscious. I'm about the only one that she would possibly trust at this point. Everyone else has betrayed her. Or if my theory is correct, that she was a hostage when she said that I stole a car that was already sitting and had been sitting at her home, a computer that had never moved, a purse that went back from the hospital as soon as she checked in, and a wallet that I definitely had kept at the home. I hadn't left the home for my apartment. Everything was there. Those were the words of the murderers, the son and the elder cleanser. Get her safe, please, get her safe. Get her detoxed from the heavy sedatives they're giving her rather than a painkiller of morphine drip where she could stay awake. They had to put her to sleep. Please save her and do it in a fast manner, not in the government. The Civil Rights Division is noted for letting the bodies go down and a month later they show up. Not this time, Civil Rights Division. You do your job the right way. This is fight the corrupt. William Samuel McAlilly is second. Demanding this lady be given her just due. Generals, thank you for your time. I hope to hear, but I have grave doubts about my government. Please save this worthy woman's life, her chance to have a life. She wants to die fighting, not out cold, not covering, being used to cover up their crimes. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Give her life. Give her life. Give her life.